James MacDonald. You are charged that on the 28th of February, you did assault by beating Elizabeth Jane MacDonald. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Speak up, please. Guilty! I agree with that. Sentence report. Yes, I agree with that course of action. Having heard all the facts, I think we're going to have to adjourn for pre-sentence reports. We do not oppose bail, Your Worship, though you may feel a condition should be that Mr. MacDonald should make no attempt to contact or interfere with his wife. My client does not object, Your Worship. Thank you. Mr. MacDonald, I'm adjourning this case for four weeks when you must return for sentencing. In the meantime, although you are free to go, it is on the condition that you stay away from your wife. Is that clear to you? Yes, very clear, Your Worship. Please understand the seriousness of this. If you go to her home or indeed approach her in any way, you will instantly be rearrested and brought back before this court. I just wanted to say I appreciate your offer about staying on the flat, but if you don't mind, uh, I think I'll make my own arrangements. What arrangements? He's no idea. So why can't you stay with us? What's wrong with that? Look, Stephen, I don't want it to seem like a pair of you are taking sides with me against your mother, OK? I mean, quite frankly, I don't think anybody should take my side, at least of all you two. It's not a case of taking sides. Well, I wouldn't be so sure, love. Anyway, the point is I don't want to put it to a test. So, have either of you seen Liz this morning? Hmm, both of us, yeah. You mean told her the crack, then? I can't go anywhere near her? Uh, yep, she's quite chuffed about it, actually. Yeah, well, I can't blame her for that, can I? Was, uh, was there anybody with her, like? Anybody like... Well, anybody, like, you know, visiting. Dad, you're not still thinking this. I'm just asking, Stephen. I can't help wondering what sort of a life she's leading now, can I? Deirdre was with her. She went round to keep her company. Is that all right, is it, Dad? Deirdre being there? Look, I am not proud of what I did. Mind you, I did take a certain amount of provocation, don't you think? Yeah, well, I think the important thing now is uh, not to make things worse. And how would that be, eh? No, I'll tell you what, it was when she wouldn't talk to me. That was the thing. I mean, when she ran out of the pub and locked herself in our own home, she wouldn't even speak. My own wife wouldn't even speak to me. Huh. Tell you, that's what really got to me. Yeah. Right, I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Oh, well, well, well. What have we here? Hmm? I'm sorry, you see. That'll be her doing up the bolts and the locks. I'll tell you, it'll be like a fortress in there. Hey! What are you frightened of? Nobody told you I'm not even allowed to look at you. Right. Well, I mean, obviously, I'd rather be with you, but. Um... Yeah. I do, right? I'm looking for a builder named a Webster. You haven't got him tucked out the back of you. Bill, Jim's here looking for you. Don't look so worried, Maureen. I've just popped in for a few words and I'll be on my way, all right? It's all right, Jim. Billy. How are you? How you doing, big lad? I'm all right, yeah. Hey, listen, if you're trying to avoid me, you're better off sticking the van around the back. No, I'm just fixing that, Joe. Yeah, no. Oh. Listen, uh, look, no doubt you've heard all about my antics, you know. The thing is, to get bail, I had to give him an address, you know. Well, the only one I could think about is yours. So, as from now, your wee flat's now my official residence, so it is. That don't worry me. There's just one thing, though. I mean, is this in theory, or do you actually want to stop there? Well, I wouldn't mind stopping the odd night, you know. Yeah. That's fine. Fine. A bit primitive, like. Choice between floor and sofa. Hey, either of them sound preferable to what I was sleeping on last night, let me tell you. Good man. So, Deirdre, you don't mind an axe corn in those flats of yours, then, do you? I don't mind flats. Right, well, I'll take that as a yes, then, shall I? Besides, there is one distinct advantage. A certain woman will know exactly where I am, should you wish to contact me, since I'm not even allowed to send her a birthday card. I'll catch you later, will I? Yeah. God. How he's got the nerve to show his face. Well, good night, love. Good night, and thanks for everything. See you later.